Well, I think you have also staring way too long on this special screen. One moment, please. Destiny 2 is temporarily at capacity. You will join the game in order in which you connect it. So, no difference between the people that get this game for free or playing this game free to play and the people that actually bought Shadow Keep, the people that actually paid for the game. Okay, I mean, I'm honest. It would not be a smart move to make this difference, to give like people that paid for this game a priority. But on the other hand, you just have to imagine those people paid for this game so they can refund this game. And then in the end, Bungie gets nothing. All right, so welcome to Streaming Deluxe, my friends. My name is Mr. Orange and today is the launch of Destiny 2 and it's a catastrophe. The servers are down right now. So it's uh, yeah, it's midnight in, in, in Western Europe. Servers are down. I bought this game. I was so much looking forward to play it on release. So I haven't played a single a single round, a single minute of this game. So I had immediately when I started, I, I got some terrible crash. I didn't know what, what is now the issue with this crash. And then people on this on the Steam forum wrote to me, yeah, that's because you have more than 300 friends on your Steam list. So then I started to raise like 20 friends, but I still have, still have over 450 or I don't know, uh, friends on my Steam list, of course. There are always a lot of people that you definitely could get rid of and uh, or from your f or remove from your friends list but come on I don't want to I don't want to be blocked by a to play a game by by my friends list so that's that's definitely not the case yeah then another point so this was I think but the, the, the news is already a bit older so forsaken is not part forsaken is not part of uh, of the new destiny bundle so that's that's a bit sad, so I would love to have seen Forsaken also in the game, but it's not there. Okay, at the moment we are at uh, the reviews, mostly positive, 5,000, almost 5,000 reviews. That's pretty impressive for a game that most people haven't played yet, that it's already uh, 5,000, that, that it already has 5,000 positive reviews. That's very funny, so, I mean, People played it, but they played it on uh, on Battle.net, so I mean I can also give this game now a positive review I could give it a negative review because I'm upset that I can't play it that the servers are down at the moment I mean we all have these Possibilities so here you see this the Twitter Bungie help destiny 1 and 2 are being taken offline for emergency maintenance Please stand by for updates. We're going to talk about this a little bit uh, later yeah, what what you get to buy so you can play it free to play, which is cool. So you get Shadow Keep for 35 years. So I bought Shadow Keep. Then you can also buy the Digital Deluxe Edition, and then you can buy even for 5,000 silver plus plus thousand silver bonus for 50 for 50 euros. Pretty expensive microtransactions, but hell yeah. I mean, this game is now free to play. That's not a problem. So overall, I think it's a good, it's good to have, to have a mix between free to play and people that bought this game. So uh, I hope this this makes the community stronger and more people are going to play Destiny 2. And here you see all of those positive reviews. I'm, I'm pretty much amazed. So really, re really, really only little negative reviews people that are upset that they can't play this game yet but yeah that's so in the end it's actually not uh, it's it's not going to have a, such a negative effect on on Bungie but but I have to say I mean Bungie should have organized all of this a little bit better so they should have organized this a little bit better so they knew that people going to or want to play this game and then I'm coming back to this point should you prioritize someone that paid for the game over someone that did not pay for the game and as I said the person that paid for the game can always ask the refund and then the 35 euros or 35 dollars are gone for Bungie 
So you have to think about this. Then here we go. Where is it? Here it is. So PC Gamer is writing Destiny 2 has been taken offline for emergency. So this is not this is not a message by uh, Bungie Help. Bungie Help is the message that you find here on Twitter. That's the message by Bungie Help. Some people then of course are complaining, downloading Shadow Keep. One moment please, someone says he got in, didn't anyone in charge of this cluster crew have enough brains to realize the servers would be overwhelmed? High school kids, yeah, the typical toxic community. I First I also wanted to be a little bit toxic, first I thought, yeah, I'm angry too, I'm angry too. I want to play this game now. I mean, I thought this evening, I'm just going to easily start up this game, play some rounds, just chill and relax. <laughs> it's not working. Instead of playing this game, I make this video now uh, where I talk about that I would love to have played this game. <laughs> but we can't change it for now. And here, so it shows like 105,000 or over 105,000 people are in the game. Are online but I, I guess they're just waiting in the queue and they're just waiting to get into the game but it's a success I mean already 105,000 people is a success so we can check the stats very quickly so what was going on here maybe we see something <laughs> here on the current players so Destiny 2 yeah it's on the current players it's at 110 Thousand and peak today was 214,100 players, but the problem is at the moment no one can play it. So I hope that of the, well, the, the the moment, the day where you're watching this video, that you that we all are able to play this game. So we're all in the game. So I hope this. Even I was uh, like 0 0.7 hours, uh, I was waiting in the queue. So let's jump to the discussion board and check out what we see here. Your place in the queue. <laughs> uh, actually, people have a place, so I didn't see actually that I would have a place in the queue. So that's funny. Maybe I'm going to check this out later. So I'm in. I can play. I'm shooting monsters right now. Ooh, I think <laughs> this must be fake. Nice condolences to your losses. Pew pew. No, I don't believe it. So Destiny 2 as uh, servers at capacity. Rip off, booted, same, sucks. All the people playing crash the servers. Toxic community, whining. So everything you need. So free to play, rip, same. <laughs> it's our community. I love this community. It's an honest community. That's very important to say. I mean. Very, very often uh, communities are not that honest, but here people are just saying what they think. They're unhappy. They're very much unhappy that they can't play this game. So they are telling Bungie this. And Bungie understood it here. Destiny 1 and 2 are being taken offline. Please stand by for updates. So. <laughs> yeah, seeing some memes. <laughs> $30 for this take all the time you need so let's refresh this so 6200 answers on this tweet so it's actually very funny to read through it so check it out yourself it's, a, it's all a funny situation I mean I'm not that angry because I could already play Destiny 2 uh, on Battle.net launcher, so I had it there, I was then migrating after Bungie was uh, splitting up from Activision. If Whether or not this was a good idea, I have no idea, I don't want to say anything about this now here. Uh, you can check out some of my videos about Activision, uh, the gaming compi company, and the, stocks, the stock of Activision Blizzard here on my channel, so, but yeah, that's, it's not going to be an easy path for Bungie. They're all alone now the, without this big publisher of Activision Blizzard. And maybe therefore they're just not up to, to this challenge. This challenge of having enough servers for, for a game that, that liked over 200 
thousand people on Steam want to play, and then I don't know how many people actually on the PlayStation also want to play this. And then they still have Destiny 1. Well, I wonder how many people play Destiny 1 now. Uh, I suppose not so many, <laughs> but yeah. So it's so it's going to take its time, and we are just going to wait, and uh, we will see what's ongoing issue. Three minutes. So do we have something new here? <laughs> okay, now it's just this well, ah, developer here, Cosmo23, a developer. So thanks for getting on it so quickly. Queue numbers are moving now. Okay, so this sounds good. Queue numbers are moving so we actually can get into the game. All right, then I will check this and then, uh, yeah, leave me a comment under this video if you enjoyed it. And then see you the next time, my friends. Bye bye.